Spawning over here in the top right position, ladies and gentlemen, as the green Protoss player, the fan favorite. Let's find out if he is able to complete the comeback. He is, of course, the one, the only, the Grubby. And his opponent spawning in the bottom left-hand corner as the blue Zerg player taking him out in game number one. But losing game two, this series is very finely poised and the top of the group is at stake here. What will he be able to do? Representing Mouse Sports, we have Protosser. So this stuff is going to be pretty exciting between these two absolutely epic players. I wonder who is going to be taking the series. Grubby, of course, in the hearts and minds of millions of fans worldwide. But Protoss are demonstrating he is not a pushover. That uh, he consistently does well in European tournaments for a reason. Taking a game off Grubby, putting that statement of intent down. And throwing down the gauntlet, asking Grubby to come back at him. Grubby did respond, taking game number two. And not wavering in his strategy for game three. Immediately putting down the forge in his main base as well. Just forcing a little bit extra scouting time as well from the Overlord here of Protoss, who's not going to be able to see the Forge. When he gets to this position, he'll have to go all the way to Grubby's main before seeing the Forge. So uh, he'll be slightly less certain that Grubby isn't going one base for a little while as well. And the Forge gets protected from being part of the Warlock. But we're going to be going hatch first anyway from Protosser at this point of the game. Nothing terribly exciting going on just yet. Both players really just poised to complete their normal game. And Grubby now going to be taking the natural expansion. So, this Overlord is going to be able to see that there is no Forge in the Wall-Off. But we'll see that the Nexus has gone down. So, based on previous experience of the last two games, Protosser will know that the Forge is in Grubby's main. And look at this immediately taking, wow, we have got a three hatch before pool coming down from Protosser here. So really taking advantage of uh, knowing that Grubby is likely going to be going for that forge fast expand. Now the pool goes down. So three hatch before pool, an ultra economic build coming out of Protosser. Will Grubby scout that this was in fact the case or will Protosser be able to get away with it? I have a feeling in this early game, Protosser is going to be able to get away with it because Grubby has not sent a drone scout yet, to my knowledge, to the main base at all, and no, he has not. Now, finally sending a probe out, but by the time the probe gets there, the natural expansion will have drones on it, and the third base will be complete as well. So, uh, really nicely played there from Protoss, so let's see if he can hold on to his advantage going later on into this game. We're getting a lot of gas now, both gas is being taken in the main base of Grubby. The gateway has completed, we should be seeing a cybernetics core very, very shortly indeed, and actually, this probe isn't even going to scout so Protosser is going to have a lovely jubbly time at the beginning of this game knowing that he's perfectly free to macro up as much as he wants to that's going to please him quite a lot this overlord does see that the cannon has gone up and that the cybernetics core has gone down as well and nothing out of the ordinary has happened as far as our zerg friend is concerned So the pool is up, but note that we don't have that many links out on the map. In fact, we have exactly zero. The pool is up purely for defense. He wants to drone up as much as possible. In an ideal world, Protosser will not have to make a single Zergling until he absolutely has to to counter an army from Grubby because he wants to get as many drones as possible on those three bases. In fact, he would ideally like to get up to 72 if possible, and then he could really go on a rampage by building a lot of those army units, but not before then. Of course, in the real world, this is not really possible unless your opponent just leaves you alone for 12 minutes as Grubby goes for the robotics facility. But so far, Protoss are enjoying an excellent start to the game. Gas is number three and four. Now down four. And Grubby as the robotics facility is about two thirds of the way complete. We can see drones starting to saturate the third base as well, getting a queen there too. Uh, would be very, very good. And still just continuing to drone up. Protoss are going straight for the Roach Warren without a single Zergling on the map, ladies and gentlemen. The worker supply is 46 to 39. And the it's only going to get more and more in favor of Protosser in the, the near future. So really cool stuff. And actually, I change my words because he just proved me wrong. He just canceled the production of a couple of drones and he is now making 12 Zerglings. So I wonder if Protosser has seen something that he might want to try and exploit. This overlord going to be coming back through the base to see if there's any sort of hidden tech here. We do have an additional gateway. 
but nothing terribly out of the ordinary at this time. We have an Immortal being Chrono boosted out now from Grubby. Uh, going to be joining the one that is already there, killing off that neutral supply diva because everyone in this game hates Terrans. It's a PvZ. And uh, it looks like, yes, Protoss is going to be able to see the uh, gateway aggression coming out here from Grubby at this time. So four additional gateways being put down in the main base. And Protoss are in the meantime going to be going for his lair as well. We can see he's getting his first two gases, uh, pardon me, his third and fourth gases at his third base. So still not taking the gases in his main. Those are the ones that he saves for last, presumably so that they mine out after everything else is mined out as well. Grubby in the meantime deciding to go for a little bit of uh, a Twilight Council tech route here in this game. So uh, let's see how well that ends up serving him. These Ling's going to be poking around just a little bit. Metabolic boost only about halfway done. But we have got plus one attack on the way as well. And 24 more Ling's are in production. Make that 26 at the moment. The Macro Hatch 4 Protoss are being produced at his third base too. So this is potentially very open. If Grubby comes in and somehow manages to launch a successful attack on the third base, that's half of Protoss' production gone. Because two out of four of his hatcheries are here. Normally, we see macro hatches maybe in the main, but Protoss being particularly aggressive with this. Maybe he wants it to help his creep spread as well, going towards the natural, as we can see the Overlord spewing this creep. So that is likely what that is for, but he needs to make sure that that third base does not go down anytime soon. We have got the Zerglings now with speed, going to be going up towards the third base, seeing exactly what's there and if he can try and deny it forcing some energy out from these sentries another couple of force fields coming out but still a lot of energy left for grubby nothing too much out of the ordinary so far good defense up the third from grubby there he has enough force fields to do that for a while and uh, he's going to need to hold off just a little bit because once again the robotics bay is going down. We have Blink being chrono boosted, we have Plus 2 being chrono boosted, and we also have the robotics bay for those colossi. So uh, that's going to be a relatively powerful army composition as one Ling does actually get all the way into the third base. He's at a couple more gateways are going down, but otherwise that's about it before he kicks the bucket. So we now have an Observer coming out from Grubby as Protoss once again moves into the third base trying to get a word in Edgeways. But Grubby saying, absolutely not. No way you're going to be able to do that. I'm going to shut you absolutely down. Everything seeming okay here. We have the first Colossus on the way. No extended Thermal Lance at this time. He's going to be waiting for the gas for that. And as soon as he gets to 200, I would not be surprised to see it get put down. But Protosser, in the meantime, has completed his macro hatch and is about to complete his fourth base as well, making a huge round of drones at the moment. The current worker supply is 95 to 67. Protosser definitely has enough to last him quite a while here. 94 now that a structure has been built. So he's going to be going for that Spire tech. Is that at his natural? Yes, it is. At the back of the natural, we see the Spire going down. So I would not be surprised to see some Broodlords relatively quickly. And indeed, the Hive is coming down now as well. So as soon as that finishes, we might be seeing a great Aspire morphing in for Protosser. In the meantime, Grubby electing to go with his Colossi tech. Uh, still no Stargate on the way for him, so he's not looking to go up to that Mothership anytime particularly soon. And otherwise, things are just looking fairly normal here. We do have extended Thermal Lance on the way now. And Grubby now going to be trying to take his fourth base as well. A lot of force fields going down to try and dissuade these Zerglings from coming in. And more energy being forced out of Grubby by Protoss here, which is a great indication of... Uh just constantly being active and moving around with your Zerglings is something that's so important. If Protosser hadn't done that, yes, okay, he lost one or two links, but all of these sentries would effectively have full energy. Protosser has done a brilliant job here of making sure that there's going to be no energy when the big engagement occurs. And here we go, he actually got some links inside the force fields, so he's actually moving forward, and this is a huge mistake from Grubby, because almost all of the sentries are going down right now. Only three are left, and two of them are at such low health. In fact, they both disappear at exactly the the same time and Protoss are now going to be swarming in with a huge number of Zerglings but the Colossi are now out and Grubby is able to completely clean up these Zerglings with Colossi should he wish and here we go will he be able to get the cancel off on the next it's going to be very close but I think he's just about 
going to get it. And the Nexus finishes. It's at 48 hit points. More Lings coming in. The Colossi doing so much damage. This is huge. And Grubby holds at the fourth base by the skin of his teeth, ladies and gentlemen. And now is looking to push out with two Colossi and two Immortals in this army composition. Picking off an Infester in the middle of the map. And oh no, we have three Lings coming in, but the shields have started to regenerate on the Nexus. And yes, Grubby looks like he's going to be holding that for the time being. More and more Lings streaming in towards a natural expansion now, but Grubby moving his army out towards the middle of the map. Is it going to be enough? The Greater Spire is about 90% of the way done. Do we have any Corruptors out on the field at the moment? We have six and counting. So it looks like Protoss are looking to get up to Brugloids very, very quickly indeed. These Lings trying to run by the army, possibly en route to the fourth base, but we now have a decent amount of shields and actually going to be shielding it more with Gateways and a Pylon there as well. Excellent uh, SimCity there from Grubby as he moves up towards the third base. Uh, fourth base, rather. Let's see what Protoss is able to do. He's got Infestor with a decent amount of energy here. Are we going to be seeing some fungals? No, the Infestor are actually going to be retreating. The fourth base is completely and utterly forfeit now. We have another attack against the fourth, and yes, this time Protoss only just is able to pick down the Nexus from Grubby. That's going to be a huge pickoff for him, but is it going to be enough? Because this army from Grubby is looking absolutely menacing. Three Colossi now out with the mix here, and he is moving in to the third base location, but the Broodlords have hit. The Broodlords are out now for Protoss, sir and Grubby needs to try and push in. He might not be able to with so many Broodlings out on the map. Excellent fungal growth from the Infestors, and I think Grubby is going to be forced to move back because the Broodlings, oh no, are actually targeting the Colossi at their own, which ended up at the front of the army, and Grubby losing two out of three of those. This is not great news for him at all. Rebuilding the Nexus at his fourth base. What is the tech looking like? There is the Stargate going down, and he's also getting plus one Protoss shields. That's going to come in very handy as well, in addition to if he decides to go Archons later on. Protoss are losing a couple more links here on the right hand side of the map and in fact losing a lot more than that but that's because the broodlords are here and he has no problem sacrificing just that little bit more and it looks like grubby is going to be moving away but that was actually a decent engagement for grubby there let's not uh get any ideas that that was horrible that was not bad because he killed off an awful lot of zerglings grubby does not yet oh actually he does know because he's seen the creep at the bottom right expansion so i wonder if he's going to be doing anything with that expand as well the current mineral count and the gas count is favoring protoss because he he still has 87 workers to the 81 of Grubby, but Grubby has a pretty formidable looking death ball. He just needs to get that Stargate and Fleet Beacon up and try and get his mothership ASAP. Maybe get some Archons in with the army composition as well. We have got a Ling just going to be scouting out this bottom right location, doing a little bit of a dance next to the rocks there. No biggie at all. And Grubby has map control with the watchtowers at the moment. He sees quite a lot of the center of the map and now definitely has this fourth base down on lockdown and reasonably secure, even getting a Zealot to plug the gap between the pylon and the warp gate there. And we have another round of Lings coming up from Protosser, but unfortunately he wasn't able to do too much indeed. Grubby baiting the Ling in and uh, getting a couple of them under his belt and ooh very very nice there sacrificial stalker gonna be seeing where all the brood lords are and this is critical information because grubby will be able to use this data to move away from the brood lords and try and attack somewhere else he wants to do his best to do uh, to be away from where the brood lords are because they're so unbelievably slow so grubby can try and attack in a lot more places before the brood lords can get there to defend if we take a look the brood lords are actually by the fourth base at the moment frantically trying to scramble back while Grubby picks off overlords outside the natural expansion and uh, Protoss in general is just very very slow and immobile and in the meantime we actually see zealot charge as well as shields level 2 coming up and the mothership has now started ladies and gentlemen at the main hatchery but Protoss it looks like he's going for a counter attack against the natural expansion of Grubby and uh, here we go a huge blink in at the watchtower but it's not going to work for Protoss so he moves back as Grubby gets a 200-200 supply now he is maxed out he is ready to go and Protoss is still at 180-80 even has the Templar archives on the way at the moment whereabouts is that there we go it's there in the main base so Grubby looking to get all of the upgrades and looking just to clump his units together and try and death ball Protosser at this moment in time. Meanwhile, the army for Protosser has a lot of infestors and a lot of broodlords in it, but they are all trying to defend the fourth base. I wonder how effective that is going to end up being. Grubby now going to be sending some zealots in to the bottom right hand location. It looks like he's doing a good job of picking apart a lot of these spine crawlers, but he's just going to be focusing down the hatch now because he knows the army is on the way. It's down to 50% health, about 40%, 30%, 20% and the Broodlords are here, but it's not going to be enough to save it, and the hatchery does go down in the bottom right-hand location. 
In the meantime, uh, a couple of links over here in the top left for Protosser. Uh, so excellent pick off there from Grubby, and that's going to enable him potentially to get a couple more Templar in with this army and maybe grab some Archons for future Archon toilets, thanks to uh, the Mothership and also that Vortex spell. For now, though, it looks like we're just going to be sitting happy over here. Uh, we have, of course, got the Mothership out of the main base now. And a decent number of gateways being added to it. So we're going to have to wait till 100 energy before we have that Vortex, of course, out of 200. And uh, that's basically about it for now. Grubby really wants to delay any sort of final battle until he knows he can get a Vortex. Because when you actually do it correctly and you have a really, really nice position on a Vortex, it just gives you that much more flexibility in engaging a Zerg army. You just remove all of their brood lords potentially with those Archons and you can just deal with the rest of it and that usually is enough for a kill move. We have got a lot of upgrades going on though. Flyer Carapace and Pneumatized Carapace coming out from Protoss. So he's looking to beef up his brood lords before starting but the brood lords are out in the middle of the map and Grubby once again is moving to the natural expansion so the map awareness there for Protoss possibly not the best but he might be able to trap Grubby inside his natural if Grubby is not careful. The Stalkers and the Colossi doing an incredible amount of damage to the natural expansion. Might even get the hatchet, but here we go. Here come the Infestors, actually, who are leading the charge. Good Fungal grows, and now the Broodlords are here as well. I don't think Grubby's going to be able to make it out of here. An excellent recall there from Grubby. He really needed to use that mass recall there. He was surrounded on all sides, but we have got the infestation bit being sniped off here in the main base. Note that the Greater Spire is still alive and well alongside a second spire in the natural expansion, but these zealots in the main base are doing an incredible amount of damage. Will they be able to get the spawning pool? No, they haven't unfortunately been targeted, so the Brutalers are going to take them out before the pool goes down. And we have another group of zealots here at the fourth base trying to pick apart the hatchery. It's at about 50% health. Will he be able to get it down? 30, 20, only 4 zealots Zealots alive now. Only three Zealots left alive, but I think he will be able to get the fourth base location. And now Protosser is going to be going in with an awful lot of Broodlords against the fourth base as well of Grubby. What is Grubby's response going to be? 20 Broodlords, ladies and gentlemen, out on the field and only three Corruptors. He doesn't need the Corruptors right now. He doesn't need to uh, try and go for mass anti-air in case the Broodlords get taken out that way. Grubby is being forced effectively into a base trade situation right now. His army is completely out of position. He knows his fourth base is gone. Just transferring a whole bunch of stuff over to the top left expansion. And unfortunately, uh, Protosser has seen that as well. So I wonder if he's going to go straight for this expansion and shut that down as well. Grubby now going to be moving in through these spine crawlers into the third base location of a Protosser. Those Colossi doing a tremendous amount of damage. 12, 73 kills, ladies and gentlemen. Executor Colossus here, and Grubby just using his army so unbelievably efficiently. Will it be enough, though, because his own third is about to get taken out? 20 Broodlords are serious business over here in Dreamhack Valencia, and this game three is really going down to the wire. Those Zealots in the main base now, via that War Prism, doing an awful lot of damage, but two Broodlords should be able to keep them occupied for just about long enough, and the Sporting Pool at about 100 supply. So uh, that's probably going to go down at some point soon. The hatch and the macro hatch go down as well here from Protosser as uh, he continues to move into the main base of Grubby following that early encounter. Grubby still trying to force through the base race, moving his army through to the natural expansion here. And there are actually five, oh dear, five infestors, but there is an over, uh, sorry, there is an observer with this army and two of them immediately get picked off. So a great play there from Grubby. He's currently up 159 to 117 supply. Worker supply is 19 to 38. Not exactly the highest worker count at the moment. Trying to bring the investors back down, but Protosser walks it straight into the vision of that observer and they all get fried before they can actually do anything. And now Grubby actually deciding it is time to go home, perhaps? He does have a decent amount of stuff in the top left. He's making a lot of high Templar here. And I wonder if he's going to try and remax on Archons. The Mothership is also being made at this top left expansion. Uh, Protoss, in the meantime, he does actually know that base exists, but he's going to be retaking Grubby's third base too. Very, very interesting stuff here as the Hive now getting focused down. Uh, by Grubby in the main base of Protoss. So it's been a little bit of a base trade scenario. The only base that was left that was originally standing for Grubby is his natural expansion. Similarly, the main for Protoss still stands. But what is Grubby going to be doing about so many Broodlords? I mean, there are 20 of them out on the field right now. It's going to be so tough for Protoss 
uh, sorry, for Grubby to break down Protosser at this point of the game. Incredibly exciting times here. That Overlord, uh, sorry, that Immortal actually getting away with only 12 hit points. Very, very close. And in the meantime, the Mothership is about two-thirds of the way complete and constantly being chrono boosted as well. Absolutely ridiculous game we have here. The hatchery is complete at the third base location of Grubby. And uh, this Warp Prism is continuing to warp in more and more Zealous just to clean up the base of Protosser while Grubby focuses his attention elsewhere. A lot of probes here on the bottom right location. Does Protosser know they're there? He does not. He simply has not retaken the right hand side. So it looks like Grubby might be able to sneak a base in on the bottom right as well as the top left. And there we go. The cannons getting put down. Sorry, the pylons first. Might be seeing the cannons later getting put down here. As well as the nexus in the bottom right location. As Protosser now aims to clean up the main base. He has not rebuilt his base and is being revealed though. Which is very, very important indeed. Because all of a sudden Grubby now knows that these are the last remaining buildings of Protosser. The hatchery at the third was taken out by those zealots that were roaming around earlier. And uh, Grubby's army was able to take out the new hatchery at Grubby's third as well. So all of a sudden, Grubby now knows everything. The question is whether knowing everything can equate to winning the game. That is the big question right now. Where are the buildings? Are these the last buildings? I think they are. We have actually taken an extractor over here in Grubby's main, but Grubby is looking fairly comfortable right now because we do have a mining base over here in the top left, and we're soon going to have a mining base here in the bottom right as well. The mothership is going to be joining this army very, very shortly indeed, and once this army is cloaked, I'm just not sure what Protoss is going to be able to do against it. Grubby is currently 100 supply versus the 67 supply, and Protosser gives the GG! And Grubby, ladies and gentlemen, in emphatic fashion, wins the series 2-1 to one over Protosser.